Hey anime peeps, what is up? It's uh, time for a new review. Um, last time was my Batoye, uh, literally just about to go to work and luckily this lovely post lady it delivers me my anime look crate and this month's theme is haunted um, so there's going to be a lot of horror based animes and supernatural themes. Uh, all I know is it's Tokyo Ghoul and maybe a couple of other good animes that hopefully I'll like. Uh, it's quite a big chunky box this time. Um, it's a bit bigger than the last box which was the um, uh, brawl box I think it was um, which had the kill kill stuff and everything in it which was pretty good. I uh, already had the scout that was in it but it was a different colour so I couldn't complain. Anyway I've got to be quick because uh, I gotta go and I really want to see what's in this box. I literally haven't opened it, I haven't looked in it so I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in. So I am going to pick at random and I'm thinking the first item I'm gonna see is going to be the t-shirt. Which it is! I'm feeling the cloth! Okay. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. Uh, it's a T-shirt from the um, anime. Uh, well, sort of anime, Western anime, I should say, of Ruby. Uh, if you don't know what Ruby is, it's a computer-generated animation by the team um, uh, Rooster Teeth that did the uh, Halo series Red vs Blue. Um, that's the most famous thing. Um, but this has become very, very popular the last couple of months and I know a good friend of mine who is absolutely crazy for Ruby. Uh, I've watched the first series. Uh, it's a bit slow paced for my liking but it was a pretty good story so don't get me wrong. That's a really quiet one. I might have to wear that at work. Okay I'm trying not to look. I don't want to give away the surprise. Okay it's a snack item. Oh great. <laughs> One thing I'm not great with food wise and that's spicy. And what do they give me? They give me hot chili salad pretz. Uh, pretz are kind of like the savoury version of um, uh, oh, come on brain. Uh, pocky. Um, yeah so they're a savoury thing. So I might take those to work with me just to have a try as a little work snack. Um, I might try one now actually just to see what they're like. Because you know it's like they say it's hot and it might not be but I'll give them a go. It just smell like cheese, but no, they're not very hot, but they are quite tasty. They just taste like tomato sauce crisps to me. So those would be very tasty, and I'll probably get through those in a couple minutes. <laughs> okay, I'm trying not to look. I'm trying not to look. Okay, okay, it's like a scarf. Oh, okay, it's like a really weird kabuki mask flag but that is pretty cool make a really cool scarf but the thing is you can't really see all of it when it's folded in a hat i'm not sure what it's from uh i'll have to look in the booklet to see uh, it might be a um, bizarre anime theme i'm not too sure let's have another dab into the box oh, oh awesome oh i love this anime uh, it's a patch from the great anime uh, Soul Eater. I'm sorry about the light on my camera, but it's um, basically Soul's little logo, the little it's a pumpkin with this little quiffy hairstyle. Um, it's a feltish material, it's very nice embroidering, and it's an iron on patch. So um, I might have to put that on my new coat because I want to put some Attack on Titan patches on it. So that's really, really cool. I like that. Okay, try not to look. Oh, it's another book. Oh cool, uh, Nogami. Uh, I've uh, actually got this series. Um, I've got the first four books. Um, I think this is a new series because um, there's a couple of spin-off books. So I'm hoping I've not already got this but I don't recognise the cover. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, it's the first book but it's got a, um, I think it's got a special edition colour cover. Uh, so sadly I've already got this. <laughs> But I'm going to keep it because I think it's um, a cover, but I'll have to check the uh, thing. Ah, uh, yeah, it does say on the back that it's a Loot Crate exclusive version. Um, so I'm going to have to check that out and compare them and see what they are like. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, this will be the uh, Loot Crate charm, as I mentioned in the previous videos. Uh, obviously, Standard Loot Crate do the badges, or now they do pins, uh, whilst Anime Loot Crate do exclusive phone charms. And as this is in, uh, I think it's Haunt, it's like a magic mirror that was like in the um, promo picture of a girl looking into a mirror with a haunted spirit behind her. So that's pretty cool, because you can actually use it as a proper mirror as well. 
kind of. It's very, very tiny. You can probably about see an eye. So if you want to do a bit quick, quick bit of makeup, it's okay. But that's really, really cute. So that's going to go with my Lucky Charms on um, above my TV. I don't think we've got that much left to look at now. Oh, of course, another ruby item. This has seemed to be very, very hot this month. Uh, it's a field notes book, and I think it's yeah, it's um, just an exclusive ruby notebook. Um, it's lined. Um, it's not plain paper. I do like plain paper books because I can sketch in them. I'm not a big fan of lined books. I don't generally use them, but they might become my new work diary. <laughs> so you've got just the standard black version, and you've got a really nice version with all the characters on. Uh, again that's a loot crate exclusive item and it's got a also just a nice little little banner with all the different uh, i think they're faction logos or i'm not sure if they're for the different characters i'm not too sure it's been so long since i've watched it on netflix so i need to really catch up on season two and see what it's like okay uh just a quit another ruby out in the re promoting the hell out of this just a bookmark um it's uh, just a 30 day free trial at rooster teeth so you can watch all their exclusive videos and everything i didn't know they did that i thought you could just generally watch them for free um but yeah that's an item so hey ho oh <laughs> okay i've randomly been given two phone charms so um i've got one i can use and one i can add to my collection so oh that's a, that's lucky <laughs> i get two yay Okay, ah, now this is what I've been looking forward to, the Tokyo Ghoul item. Uh, I don't know what it is, it says it's a Loot Crate exclusive and it feels quite heavy. So it could be a figure, it could be glasses or something. Ah, oh, I was right though. Oh, wow, these are so cool. Oh, I hit the other characters on it. Please, look, Toriki. Oh, it's just the, uh, the, the writing. Oh, uh, these are Tokyo Ghoul exclusive shot glasses. And these are really cool. They're like blackened at the top and they're really red blooded at the bottom. That's really cool. Uh, this one, as you can see, has the Tokyo Ghoul logo on it. And the other one has uh, Ken on it in his um, e very, very nice uh, ghoul form with his uh, tendrils coming out the back. So that's really, really cool. I was hoping for um, a, a Pop Funko or a, a really cool figure. But no, these are really cool because I actually collect shot glasses. I've got a couple just up behind me on top of my shelf so that's really cool because it's anime and it's a shot glass so that is bitching i'm i'm really glad they didn't get broken because these come all the way from the states so and um, get all bumped and busted and everything okay and just the last item now guys it is the poster uh, which basically explains the items and the companies they're from and there's always a really nice illustration on these and problem is they're so so really cool i want to put them up on my wall but as you can see in the background i literally have no space apart from my ceiling which my parents won't let me put the posters up on and that's the uh terror item so as you can see like i mentioned earlier that was the um promo art for the um haunt um picture and there's a girl being terrorised by a evil ghoul behind her. Uh, oh, kind of reminds me of that um, really weird school anime where they get transported to a ghost realm and it's really, really messed up. I can't remember what the name of it is. Corpse Party. Corpse Party. That's what it reminds me of because it's a very similar sort of background and sort of thing. So anyway, on to the item. So as you can see on the poster, we had the exclusive t-shirt from Rooster Teeth, which is pretty cool because usually at conventions, their t-shirts go for about like £20. So that's pretty much covered the cost of the box already. Uh, also, we had the Rooster Teeth uh, Field Notes book. Um, so you can be... Um, <laughs> have your best of chance to stay a hunter instead of becoming the hunted <laughs> and we had the um pretz chili sticks from the asian food grocer uh we had the soul eater patch from great eastern um, that imports um, anime items, so I might have to give those guys a look. Uh, I was going to look at the stuff from the last box because the tote bag and the kill the kill t-shirt from another company, so I might have to check them out. Uh, yeah, so we had the phone charm from Loot Crate. Uh, okay, the bandana, which I was curious about, is from Anime Loot Lab. Uh, February is the month of the Sensitzabon Festival, a time to get yourself off spirits. Um, 
Oni Bandera mask in half for your own haunted festivities. Ah, so basically, it's a festival in Japan where you have to scare away spirits. So you wear that, scare the spirits away, and you get haunted. <laughs> that's actually a really nice touch. It's cool that they add some traditional items as well as just anime. So that's a really, really cool feature. Thanks, Luke Crate. And uh, then we had the Nogami book exclusive. Uh, exclusive variant cover. Yep, I was right. And yep, uh, definitely worth more than five yen. <laughs> That's a really good pun. If you watch Nagami or read the book, you'll get the reference because the um, basically the main character, the spirit, he's um, a god, and obviously they get. Um, um, they get offerings, and most of, he carries a giant glass bottle full of coins, which are mostly five yens. And um, basically, he's um, trying to get offerings so he can become a higher god and get into the more, the more of the higher ranks, and basically get all the riches and all the babes because <laughs> he's boob obsessed. <laughs> and then, obviously, the main item, which is my favourite, um, was the exclusive Tokyo Ghoul shot glasses from Surreal Entertainment. And yeah, they will be. Um, they will be on my shelf of many, many beautiful things and um, probably another start of my uh, Tokyo Gold collection. So that was a really, really good box. Um, they've already just announced the next box, which will be Versus. Uh, I'm thinking of getting it. And the only one anime I'm not looking forward to it is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure because it's never really appealed to me. I've seen a lot of clips from AMV Hell that have been very overly camp shall we say without being rude oh, don't worry i've got nothing against gays or oh, sorry homosexuals whatever you want to call yourself uh it's just a little bit too much for me um anyway sorry no, i'm not being rude i do apologize if you're offended my apologies uh the other ver items will be uh Yu -Gi -Oh! and uh, various other battling stuff i think pokemon might be in there and um maybe some dbc and some killer kill maybe i don't know um just pick the draw but jojo's been the main um one advertised for the uh, box but i will keep you posted so i'm very very happy with this box um this will be my new scarf my new fashion i'm gonna scare some spirits <laughs> but that yeah that, that's, that's topped it <laughs> and um yeah i'm kind of glad about the book i'm a little disappointed because i've already got it but it's an exclusive cover so um i'm gonna keep that um, and that's my collection. Uh, I'm not a big Ruby fan, but I'm going to give it another go and another watch. If not, one of my um, friends will probably hound me down to get her to her for her birthday. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, save me waffling, and I've got to get to work. Uh, until the next box, I will see you later, and stay happy, guys!